his words, Bobby, on the face of it, this seems great. The teacher's pet as AI, but will they like it? Will it start taking their jobs? So, uh, hi, Martin. Hi, Ellie. Um, so, first thing I want to say is AI is a topic that's not going to disappear. In fact, I'm part of a non-fiction book club called the Rebel Book Club. And the current book that we're reading is called The Coming Wave. It's all about AI in the 21st century. It's written by an author called Mustafa Suleiman, who founded, co-founded DeepMind, which is Google's AI think tank. And essentially, you know, we're going to find medicine, healthcare, politics, music, art, uh, media, education, all being transformed by AI. And the way I see it is, if institutions, organizations, schools don't get on board, we'll get left behind in Britain. If we want to be a superpower in the 21st century, we have to embrace it. And even a little simple example I'll give you. We are recently in my school planning lessons or um, sort of a, the next scheme of learning or curriculum. And we had, this was completely coincidental, five of the teachers were using chat GPT to help them plan. And five of the teachers said, oh, I just use traditional Google, just search along, use textbooks. And the teachers using traditional Google and textbook took two hours, whereas the teachers using chat GPT, essentially AI, spent 40 minutes on the same task. So, of course, you need the expert teacher who can look over the, the, the sort of the AI and say, does it make sense? But I definitely think there's a huge, huge role in which AI will transform education and teaching. But Bobby, do you have concerns? There's a new report out today saying one in three Brits are very concerned about AI and its development because they're worried that it's going to steal their jobs. Do you think that you could ever see artificial intelligence do the job of a teacher, that perhaps one day there could be a robot standing at the front of the classroom in front of all of the children and actively giving lessons? I think the reality is technology does change the way society runs. When we think back to the Luddites, you know, when they first had the, the weaving looms and people used to, you know, sort of manually thread clothes and the looms changed society and suddenly we had big machines uh, um, and textiles. Education will change as well because I think, again, as a teacher, we find with marking, again, one of the big bugbears as a teacher is you spend your whole weekend marking lots of books. But now, for maths in particular, for example, we use software that helps us set online homework, gives us feedback in real time. So it can be a big um, reduction of burden on teachers. And the question is, will it reduce jobs? I actually don't think so. I think the educators and teachers that will do well are the ones that are able to harness the power of AI. Because if it means that I've got less time spent on planning lessons, less time spent on marking. It means I can spend more time individually with students face to face. And we mustn't forget, AI should be seen as an enabler of human face to face contact, not replacing us. It's interesting because a lot of people kind of glaze over when AI comes up, don't they? Because it's quite ephemeral, it's quite a conceptual thing. But when you put it into that real world aspect of will it take my job or not, people, you know, with, with justification suddenly are interested. And it turns out professions like teaching are actually going to be pretty safe and caring professions, nursing, um, particularly elderly care, because people like the human touch. And other jobs that are safe, blue collar jobs. Plumbers, um, builders, decorators, plasterers, sparkies. So there is safety there. But, Bobby, realistically, you know that the teaching unions, they like to get in a, in a, their knickers in a twist about any old thing. Surely, um, if you start saying robo-teachers coming in, they might not see it as aiding and abetting teaching. They might see it as a teacher replacement technology. Yeah, again, it depends on your perspective. I think if you look at the strikes that we had over the last like 12, 18 months in the teaching sector, they were primarily because of things like workload, um, pay conditions, and also our ability to deliver lessons for young people. Because teachers, when we join the profession, we join because we think that we can really inspire and educate the next generation. And if AI can help us do that better, I think you know the vast majority of teachers will be sort of welcome that. And of course, when you look at AI, will it replace us, will it not? I think the key thing is institutions, organizations, individuals that work with technology such as AI will be much better placed. And if you're sort of trying to be a sort of, I don't think, an ostrich and hide your head under the sand, it's not going to work. AI is going to change the world, whether we like it or not. So the more we can embrace it, I think the better. And Bobby, just generally on the topic of AI, how much of a challenge is it for teachers in the classroom? Are you finding that pupils are already relying on things like chat, GBT and AI in order to get their homework done or help them with exams? Yes, 
I definitely think things like ChatGPT or there's Google Bard as well equivalent, where especially for essay based subjects, imagine you're writing an essay on um, World War II and its causes. You can just type, type me an essay, 500 words on World War II and its causes. And very quickly, ChatGPT will write you an essay. And again, it, it changes the nature of things like coursework. Can you rely on it? But I think the students that do well are the ones that rely on it to sort of boost their learning. Because sometimes, again, historically, when I was at school, if I struggled with something, I might pop to my library or ask my dad, but that was it. Whereas now, students can, especially the sort of more keen, enthusiastic ones, can go and check themselves and they can almost learn in between the lessons. So I think that the students that really want to thrive, I think technology and AI will massively boost their chance of being better uh, equipped, better educated, and hopefully better for Britain in the 21st century. OK, Bobby Siegel, it's always a pleasure. It's never a chore. And I love seeing that Bobby Siegel West Ham number six show in the background. The West Ham certainly at the moment could do with a bit of your kind of enthusiasm. They're not doing so well. Anyway, let's not rub it in. Yeah. The thing about AI and, 